I used to hang out in them bars, put them quarters and them jukeboxes, playing cowboy, isn't that right, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remember how much you loved it? Hell yeah, sure. Everybody's got to throw a little party once in a while, but then you, you settle down and start taking on responsibilities. Jody, dear, you could wear nice clothes and quit that job answering the phone. Just take your place as a homemaker, supporting your husband after you get married. That's right, Mama. Life Don't, is important. To Harley and I just had it done. I'm sorry, baby. She, she always had it done. You remember how Daddy used to work me like a goddamn Mississippi nigger waxing them cars for five dollars a day? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I did? I turned that used car lot into the biggest mobile dealership in three counties. What do you think Daddy'd think of that right now if he's alive? He'd be real proud of you, Royce. I'm sure he would. Damn proud of me, Kyle. Come on, Jody, let's go. What's the matter, little brother? Don't you want to be a success? You know, I about had enough you crawl over my back for one day. Poor shit. All I'm trying to do is help. I'm making you a proposition to make something of yourself for once. Royce, I don't want your help, OK? Over here, darling. Come on, hon, over here. Hey, Jody, honey, I thought it'd be a nice idea to invite these good people so we could talk, don't you think? They're interested in your future, too. Come on, John, Lucille, your future son-in-law's got some good news for you.